We're here in beautiful Myrtle Beach at Black Bear Golf Club, the Getaway Golf Academy with three students today. A very warm day. We're going to start with putting. That's what today's lesson will start with, and we'll go to putting right now. Of course, in putting, one of the important things to do is be able to read a green. Most players wait till they get on the green and try to read it. The most important thing is you walk to the green, you can see the overall lay of how this green tilts from front to back, left to right, and so forth. So you can see from this hill, we're going down a little bit this way and down this way and down that way. Okay? First thing to look at is when you approach the green for putting is to read the overall lay for your break. Okay, in putting, a lot of people, a lot of golfers try to make putting much too difficult. We're just going to go over the few basics so that you know what a basic stance is and a basic grip is. There are so many different grips in putting. There's the claw, there's the crosshand, there's the back. There's all kinds of grips. So your individual grip is up to you. We've got Steve here with us today. And Steve, we're going to take a grip that's a normal grip, okay? And when, and when Steve grips this putter, he's going to grip it very lightly, okay? This is his natural grip. This is how he likes it. He kind of uses a two-finger inner lap, and uh, that's fine. And what you want to do in a stance is you want to try to take a, a stance that's parallel to your, to your intended line. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you want it as much as you can on the intended line. And the reason I say this is because the most important thing in putting is speed. You can miss a putt by an inch, but go way by the hole and you have a six or seven foot putter come back. You can miss the putt slightly right or left by a foot or two and you only have a one or two foot putt. And Steve's going to try to demonstrate this. Steve, go ahead and hit a putt and hit one right at the hole, but a little too strong. And you can see this first putt that he hit went about six inches left of the hole, but probably eight, ten feet past the hole. All right, and I hit another one. Now that's an excellent putt. You can see he's about uh, a foot or so short and just slightly left, so he's got a one footer because the speed was perfect. Okay, let's try one more. Okay, there's a good example, okay? Hit the ball about foot to the right of the hole, but only went past the hole about two and a half feet. So even though his line was way off over here, he only has a two footer left as opposed to a six or eight footer because he didn't have the right speed, okay? Speed's very, very important in putting. Okay, when we walked up to the green, I talked about reading and said that the green slopes from right to left. Here's a perfect example that we know that before we walk on the green. We have Mark with us here, and Mark's going to hit a putt with a little right to left break now at this hole. Okay, it's a good putt. Okay, you saw the ball just rolled a little bit right to left. Okay, now we knew it was going to break right to left because when we walked up to the green, we saw that. Okay, the most important thing now golfers have trouble with is when they come to the three and four footer. The reason most three and four footers are missed are because the putter face either closes or opens as they strike the ball. The best way to prevent that is to just try to take a nice relaxed stroke straight back and straight through. Understand that when you make your putting stroke, the putter will naturally turn, turn slightly inside to inside. It's just natural with the rocking of the shoulders, okay? Keep your body quiet, try to rock it straight back and straight through, okay? We have with us Bob here who's going to demonstrate that for us. Okay. Very good. Nice stroke. Very good, Bob. Okay, that completes our putting demonstration for today. It's very, very important to understand we made a very short, simple video for you to understand how to make your most putts. For a more technical explanation, go to my golf book, Spiritual Golfer, on the spiritualgolfer.com. It's a revealing journey to how to play great golf, and there's a complete chapter in there on how to putt and the technicalities of it, okay? Or visit your local pro.